if you've been reading the watch for a while, you know about the Hart family and how they were subjected to a SWAT raid on their home because, a, Robert Hart and his son shopped at a hydroponic gardening store to obtain supplies for a school project, and, b, Addie Hart drinks loose leaf tea, which police, and drug field tests, somehow mistook for marijuana. The Harts were completely innocent. The police messed up. The Harts then spent a small fortune navigating Kansas's notoriously opaque open records laws just to learn why they were raided in the first place. Once they had that information, they could finally move ahead with their lawsuit. Last July, more than five years after the raid, a federal appeals court allowed their lawsuit to go forward. But as I pointed out here at the watch at the time, thanks to the doctrine of qualified immunity, the family's suit survived only on a single claim, and it would be an extremely difficult one to win the hearts would have to show that the police officers lied about the tea evidence to obtain the search warrant. On all the other claims the fact that the cops were unaware that field tests are notoriously unreliable and should never be relied upon as probable cause for a raid, that the cops relied on their experience and expertise to obtain the search warrant despite mistaking tea for marijuana, that local police officials had hyped up the series of raids that included the raid on the Hartz's home as a 420ths operation, they scheduled a news conference the same day in anticipation of their success, the lack of surveillance or corroborating investigation of the Hartz, the heavy-handed tactics despite the relatively dubious evidence, the fact that there were children in the home on all of this, the Federal Appeals Court found that, because the police were protected by qualified immunity, the Hartz would have to show that not only were their rights violated but also that the police should have known that under clearly established law, their actions were violations of the Hartz's rights. By a two-to-one margin, the panel of judges ruled that the Hartz had failed to do so. That left only the claim that police lied to obtain the search warrant. Short of a recording of someone openly admitting to lying, this is a nearly impossible thing to prove. It isn't enough even to show that the officers should have known that the substance they found in the family's trash wasn't marijuana. The Hearts had to show that they did know, then claimed to a judge that the tea was pot, anyway. When the Tenth Circuit panel allowed the lawsuit to go forward, there was some celebration that this was a victory for the Fourth Amendment. I pointed out at the time that it really wasn't. This family was subjected to a violent, terrifying raid due to police incompetence, negligence and neglect. Yet in order to see a dime in damages, they'd have to prove something that's nearly impossible. Even if they somehow won, the police officers themselves would be indemnified, removing any real deterrent to prevent this sort of thing from happening again. Sure enough, the hearts lost in court last week.